But just a quick update on the um, plans to restore the uh, little uh, radio, the um, Echophone EC1. Um, I've got a bunch of electronic test equipment. Obviously, I wouldn't have restored all these radios behind me without a bunch of test equipment. But one thing that's been missing all the time in my um, in my test equipment is something called a vacuum tube voltmeter. Now that's not to say that I don't possess one. It's just that in my usual style I bought a vintage one that needed restoring. So in order to restore this radio, while I could use my oscilloscope um, with my signal generator and, and do it that way, it's a little bit more complex. And a, a vacuum tube voltmeter is certainly a lot um, simpler to use. So it looks like I'll, um, before I start on the EC1, I'll have to um, get in and restore my little vacuum tube voltmeter, which is not a big job. Um, so that's going to be what I get up to next. So retrieving the vacuum tube voltmeter from my four-wheel drive where it's been stored in a set of drawers, um, I discovered that the clear cover over the meter uh, had broken so I've just glued it together temporarily while I look for a replacement part if I can find one. I glued it with super glue but I would have preferred to use um, uh, Acrifix if I had some. I always used to have Acrifix because I fly aircraft and of course aircraft have acrylic canopies and my own aircraft uh, from time to time has had people with ham fists break it so I always used to have some Acrifix on hand but unfortunately I don't anymore. I still have an aircraft. <laughs> I will get around to flying it again one day if I can ever get back up to Rockhampton. Anyway, so my old meter, which is a US built um, kit uh, from Heathkit. I don't know what era. It's a it's a V5, so I don't know. I'm guessing maybe about 1960s or 70s, but I don't really know. Anyhow, before I start fixing some of my old radios, it would be smart of me to get this meter working because. It would simplify things quite a bit. Um, just inspecting the cord, it's not too bad. Uh, these vacuum tube voltmeters allow you to measure voltages um, in old radio equipment, for instance, um, in a way that doesn't interfere with the operation of the circuit. Whereas a modern day, for instance, digital multimeter or something like that would. Uh, have an influence on the circuit and therefore um, can't be used. Now the issue of course with this meter is it's so old that it will need rebuilding itself. Let's see if I can get it apart. Um, but I don't have enough spare hands. So I'll just put my camera down here for the moment. And got this unit apart. If I can get it apart. So, and that's interesting. One of the parts has come away. I have to see if I can find where that's come away from. I've got the circuit diagram, so I will be able to work it out. Anyway, the issue will most likely be just these two capacitors. Most of these um, resistors are probably going to be okay, but I will have to check their values to make sure they haven't changed. Anyway, so there you go, that's a smaller restoration job I'm going to have to do before I start on the radio. I don't have to, I've got, a, I've got actually an oscilloscope that I could use. But the oscilloscope is obviously much more difficult to set up and adjust. I have to check that vacuum tube. I've got a battery in here. 
And I also have to find what I did with the probe. I'll have the probe somewhere around the place. So there you go, there's another project. Fortunately, I've got um, the original construction manual here. I wonder if it has a date on it. So since this was a kit that somebody built up, um, they are still available on the internet. Are copies of the original instruction manuals. Um, which will tell you how to um, step by step assemble the unit. So that will be very handy for troubleshooting. Let's see if we can see where that capacitor went to. There we go. Uh -huh. That's it there. So it goes up to the first tab on that wafer switch. Which is down there. Where I thought it came from. Alright, cool.